Right, spring has sprung and many residents are already starting to think about their lawn and the daunting challenge of the annual maintenance that comes along with it. This morning, Sean Rose of the Better Business Bureau is here. He has tips and insights on how to hire someone who is reputable, mm -hmm. trustworthy, cost efficient, all of it. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's always always an important thing to kind of get ahead of. What's the first thing somebody should do? Where should they start looking for somebody to work on their lawn for them? Right. So we always would recommend BBB.org. We think it's a great opportunity because you can go in there and search for like landscaping or just lawn care or maybe weed control, stuff like that. Um, and that way you can kind of go through, you can look at their profile, you can see their rating, you can um, check out any reviews because that's really a big thing, especially with local businesses. You always want to look through different review sites and see what those reviews are and if they're positive or negative. And on BBB, what's great is even if you see if a business has a complaint, you can go in there and read through the complaint and see what the complaint was, how the business responded, how it was resolved. So we always recommend BBB first, yeah. And it's kind of like when you look at reviews online, mm -hmm. there's going to be good and bad for Absolutely. everyone. Sometimes mm -hmm. maybe the person that's complaining may not be telling the whole truth. Absolutely, and so maybe yeah. they are, but give people a chance. So mm -hmm. what are some of the key things people need to look for, good things that mm -hmm. they can find from a lawn care business? Um, you know, so really it's uh, a lot of services, what they offer whether they'll give you references, provide, you know, opportunities for you to speak to the clients maybe they already have. Um, we always you know, you want to work with a reputable company because that way things go a lot smoother um, in, in how you interact and what the process is. Are lawn care scams a big problem? Uh, you know, so there's been some issues in the past, not necessarily scam-wise, but just failure to do the work um, where they'll, like, show up and contract with you and then you'll, like, send them a check, but then they just never show up. Oh, and so that's always... That. Yeah, and uh, the other problem could be, you know, if they say, okay, well, we'll just do this work for you, and you say, okay, cool, thinking they're just going to mow, but then they come in and they mow, they edge, they weed and eat, they do all this different stuff, and then they send you a big bill, and you're like, wait a minute, this is one, what we talked no. about at all, so, yeah. Yeah, I hate that, too. So, what are the red flags people need to look for? Uh, you know, people that might not have licensing filings with the different state agencies, um, you might also look into, you know, making sure that, they have more than one client, um, and it's really, you know, they're easy to communicate and contact with. Um, if they're like, yeah, yeah, sure, just call us and leave a message or something if we don't pick up, and then they never call you back, that's going to be a problem. They just show up and continue to do the service. So it's really like, you know, you want to make sure that you get a variety of options and things, mm -hmm. but also that the cheapest option isn't going to be the best one sometimes. So really kind of read into it and make sure. Thank you so much for helping keep us from scams and all sorts of money problems. We appreciate all you do. For more information, you can go to OklahomaCityBBB.org or call 405-239-6081. We always appreciate when you come and you do so much good for our community. Always a pleasure. We'll be right back.